Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Fester's Quest. Now the first thing we need to do is get our hands on some health restoring items. Because while the hot dogs are, you know, useful and all, having them in fixed points kind of makes things just a little bit difficult. So we're going to get our hands on some potions. Very, very finite use potions. Unfortunately, we can't get tons of these things. Thing gives us potions, and we have five of them. These are full health restores. And if you run out, you can come back to this house to get more. As long as you can make it back to this house. Which is a very real possibility you can't. At least, if I recall correctly, once you advance past a certain point in the game that's coming up soon, the only way to get back there is to die. Which, if you clear out a boss and you want more potions, might not be a bad idea to die and do it. I will try it off screen and see if it, you know, see if it actually works before, you know, showing you guys that. But there's also a hot dog cart off to the right down below me. I passed by it because I don't need it. But the second thing we are going to do is get a get a free hit here. And we do that inside this building. Something you haven't seen yet. Yeah, let's see if we can explain this a bit. We're now in a 3D building. I have no idea why they decided to do this. There's no real point to it happening, but apparently they played Golgo 13, top secret episode, and thought so that was a really good idea, and decided to incorporate it in Fester's quest. Go figure. I don't know either. I'm not sure I want to. But anyway, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. I can basically walk through that wall and get free health. Notice I now have three health boxes. And get out of that as soon as I can. I want them out of the way because they're right where I need to be. You may notice that running around, running backwards to get away from enemies is usually a very bad plan here, because you'll usually spawn more enemies like right in front of you. But before I go any further down that path, I'm going this way. And filling up that health I just grabbed. I'm on me key first, aren't I? Because there's one more item we can grab here. I just have to go around things to get to it here. Persistent blue frog there, wasn't it? It followed me all the way up the freaking street. And you may notice the whole bunch of bad artifacts falling on the right side of the screen there. Yeah, that is a real problem with this game. They did not code it that well as far as screen scrolling and the like. They didn't code a lot of things well in this game. But yeah, they did not code the screen scrolling to the right very well, so it gets you that artifact there. Notice it's not on the left side, though. Go figure. And now Thing gives us invisible potions. These are not invisible potions. These are invincible potions. Really, they are. Once you take these, you kind of flash in and out, kind of look invisible. But the enemies will still see you. But they can't hurt you. Okay, take care of that. And now we need to go this way. Get 
is down here lies the path to the first boss. And once we finish the first boss, I will call the video. Of course, it may take me more than one try to beat the first boss because the first boss actually is kind of annoying. Lousy gun power downs. Lousy red frogs. Okay, pink frogs. So the orange... The pink frogs are the flame-spitting ones. The orange ones just kind of hop around and try to step on you. And now you see the results of one of the main complaints from this game. The fact that six or five out of the eight guns will collide with the side of just about every quarter around here and just about every angle, so there's no way you can actually get through. A few of them, like this one, will actually get through and not collide with anything, so no big deal there. But five of them, you have noticed, will collide with every single side. No matter what you try to do. You might usually run into a wall munch, wall munching thing here. Yes, I do. There he is enemies that can actually go through the walls in the sewer. Not where I'd want to be putting my mouth, but hey, I'm not a monster. Or am I? Nope, not a monster. I kingdom for the whip now. The whip actually does do a damage against those things. But we got a little ways to go before we can get claim that fun little weapon. Something you may or may not have noticed. The gun the enemies tend to spawn like right on top of you. And well, I mean not right on top of you like right in front of you that will try to spawn in a direct line of fire with you which at least in the beginning is not a bad thing but it's not always a good thing either okay there's that and there's no reason to go up into that little alcove there because all it will do is make a blue frog spawn when you try to come back down but now we are suddenly in another labyrinth. You will notice that pretty much all the doors that look like this lead to these 3D perspectives. However, unlike the first one, this one and every other one leads to a boss. So let's see. I think I remember the fast path to get there. Yep, once I go through this door, there's a boss the boss will probably land a whole lot of hits on me and kill me because I don't feel like using my potions right now. But, hey, if I die, I will pause the video and when I and resume it when right in front of the store and you will see the boss fight again. So anyway, give me just one well, you know what you know what's going on. Yep, this is what he does. Ah. Didn't quite get over far enough. But anyway, I just keep this up and he will die. Hopefully, you know, before I do. Because when you beat a boss, you get your health completely restored. And there he goes. That's the only trick to beating the first boss. Stand there and move over just a little bit to the right each time. But now we are fully restored. And there's no way to get back in. At all. We're stuck in this area. Now for those of you that want to, that were hoping that I could use potions there and 
keep continuing on? No, because I couldn't get the potions back. At least not in this current state. So anyway, now that we are here, we are through the first boss, I'm calling this a good stopping spot. When we return, we will, well, we will continue on and hopefully at least get the whip before we do anything else. If not the whip, then more energy. Or the two. Something would be good. Anything would be good. So anyway, take care, folks. I will see you next time for more Fester's Quest. Mm -hmm.